experiment time. Today we're going to see what effect the flour choice has on open crumb formation in sourdough bread. Is it going to make a difference? Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today we're going to experiment with different bread flours and see how they affect the open crumb formation in your sourdough bread. I'm testing four different bread flours, which you should be using if you're trying to bake artisan sourdough bread. If you can get it, of course. The four flours I'll be testing are... 1. Kornby Mølle. This is a bread flour developed by Pierre Grube here in Denmark. Uh, for the last 15 years, he's been selecting, breeding and testing different crops and milling flours that are absolutely excellent and the best tasting flours that I've ever worked with. This has 12 and a half grams of protein per 100 grams of flour. 2. Caputo Manitoba Oro. An Italian flour milled from Canadian hard wheat. Caputo is a reputable brand that makes some of the best flours for pizza. This flour has 14 and a half grams of protein per 100 grams of flour. 3. Frumenta Manitoba. Another Italian flour milled from Canadian hard wheat. When I first bought this, I was told that it was a premium bread flour that you could bake awesome artisan breads with, but I was pretty disappointed with it and have basically just used it to feed my starter. We'll see how it fares. The protein content is 13.9 grams per 100 grams of flour. 4. A Danish supermarket bread flour. I don't have a lot of information about this flour, except they say it's great to bake bread with. The protein content is 11.5 grams per 100 grams of flour. This will be interesting. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. The formula that I'll be using today is 100% bread flour to maximize the chance of open crumb. The salt content is 2% and the inoculation is 20%. The hydration will vary depending on the flour. I'll go for the same consistency. But for the Kornby Mühle, I'll be going for 85%, Caputo 80%, and for Menta and Supermarket flour, I'll go for 70%. If some of the dough seems vastly different in texture, I'll adjust as I go along. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the experiment. This is not a recipe. If you'd like to follow my method of baking artisan sourdough bread, I've linked the video of my master recipe in the description below the video. First, I mix everything with the Kornby Mühle flour. Then I mix everything with the Caputo flour. And then I mix everything with the Fermenta flour. At this point, the fermenter seemed pretty stiff, so I decided to add 5% more water. And lastly, I mix everything for the supermarket flour.
At this point, the supermarket bread also seemed stiff, so I added 5% more water. Then I leave them all to rest for an hour to develop the gluten. When the hour's up, I do the first set of stretch and folds. Then I let the dough rest for 30 minutes. Then I do the second set of stretch and folds. And I let the dough rest for another 30 minutes. And then the third set of stretch and folds. After each set, I check the gluten. And then I move the dough to a Cambro container, which I use to monitor the growth. Today my starter was extra active, so it took around two and a half hours, and it wasn't even the proofer. I had an errand to run, so I wanted to ferment longer, but <laughs> I made it back in time though. After the dough had grown, I did a pre-shape of each dough. And then I let the dough rest on the kitchen counter for 20 minutes. And then I final shaped each dough. Then they went into the fridge until the next afternoon. So they got a bit longer retard than usual, but it should be fine. So the next afternoon I heated my oven. After the oven was hot, I grabbed a dough from the fridge, dusted it, flipped it onto a peel,
scored it. And then moved it to the oven. I baked it for 20 minutes with the lid on. Then I removed the lid and turned the oven down. Then I baked for 25 minutes more. Grab the finished bread from the oven and let it cool on a wire rack. The rest of the bread was baked the same way. All right, they all look pretty great. Let's compare the crumb. Kornpirmühle. That's a pretty tight crumb, but nice and well fermented. Perfect for a sandwich. Caputo. Wow, that looks pretty awesome to me. Frumenta. That's a nice open crumb. Less than the caputo though. And supermarket flour. That looks a lot like the previous one. Nice. Let's see all four together. And now I'll show a cross section of each bread so we won't be judging the crumb based on just one cut. Afterwards, I tasted each bread. The Kornbimühle had the absolute best taste, well-developed and tangy, just like I like it. The Caputo and the Fermenta were very close in taste. Some tanginess and some bread taste, but significantly less than the Kornbimühle. The supermarket flour had the least amount of taste. So interesting. They all gave a relatively open crumb. The tightest crumb was definitely Kornbimühle, but if you judge by the color of this bread, it's not as finely sifted as the others, which also explains the wonderful taste. The Caputo had the most open crumb, whereas the Fermenta and Supermarket flours were not far behind. The Fermenta did much better than in my previous test. I think I may have been using that flour at too high of a hydration. So whole grain might stunt the formation of open crumb as seen in Kornbimühle which is on par with what we're told. I think follow-up experiments here could be, one, comparing flours from very low protein to very high protein. Maybe all the way from cake flour to extremely high protein. Two, comparing caputo with different amounts of whole grain flour added. What experiment would you like to see? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.